this is a collection update all of my Nerf guns I will go over some of them starting up on my wall these are the web store blasters that are modified and available on my web store SMG, Uzi, and full size rapid strike modified strife um, and then two painted guns moving over I have some rebel guns quite a few boomco guns I'll be reviewing all of those fire strike firefly modified alpha trooper guardians of the galaxy gun uh, two strifes with stockade stocks those have the same mods just in case anybody comes over and wants to fling foam with me <laughs> uh, sling fire modified demolisher missile launcher attached to the retaliator just had a video on that unmodified elite alpha trooper Another Flip Fury, but that one's unmodified. Uh, Double Down, I think. My personal Straven, a rough cut. AirTech 2000, if you're unfamiliar with this one, it's a pretty powerful air gun. After modification in unmodified form, it's kind of crap. Um, Rhino Fire, still haven't touched that thing. AirTech 3000, two Secret Shot 1s, that's two of them. Found them on Nerf Haven for five bucks each. Uh, a little bit of nostalgia for me, because that was actually my first Nerf gun and I just love them for no good reason. They don't perform well, I just like them. Rebel Secret Shot, Mega Thunderbow, a few Strong Arms, unmodified, down here, a few Triads, unmodified, a Jolt, a Big Shock, and what's this one called? Snapfire. Then over here, I have a few Retaliator Foregrips, a few Long Shot Scopes, already covered the Strong Arms. All of these are Rapid Strike Stocks, these aren't like attachable nerf stocks, these are uh, components, you can't put these on a nerf gun, but I'm keeping them just because I think they look funny over there. And two demolisher stocks. And then down there I have a new inbox blue strife, uh, which are much harder to find nowadays, and a new inbox uh, rapid strike. And on my table I have a modified retaliator with a worker grip and a worker stock. That's it for my wall area, going outside. I have a few more guns out here that just are not displayed on my wall. Um, this is just a pile of crap. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these, but I can't mod them. I don't like them. So here we go. Marshmallow crossbow, two rebel guns, sling strike, clear shots. I only bought those for the scopes. The guns themselves are pretty bad. Uh, rebel bow, a few vortex guns, the Star Wars gun, the sword popper, the shield popper thing, uh, Marvel gun, very old night finder, two long shot front guns, another rebel crossbow, and that other weird gun. Then over here I have the Air Force blowgun, um, some Boomco stuff, the bandolier, a new clip, a big clip, two smaller clips, 18-round uh, mag, various in-strike mags here. That is a capture the flag electronic thing for game types. Um, Nerf machete, that is seven clear mags, that's my personal rig, um, six plus one in the gun. My sock belt, which I actually forgot to put in my HVZ loadout, oops. Um, worker stocks, worker magazines. Some standard six round mags from Nerf, worker foregrips, uh, the little recon front attachments, the long strike little attachment, cell phone holder or iPhone holder, retaliator stocks, uh, clear shot scope, uh, two rhino fire mags, the 25 round drums that can't feed, <laughs> uh, three 35 round raider drums, um, and then two barrel extensions. So that's the overview of the extra stuff. My collection changes every month because I buy all of the available Nerf guns that I can for reviews and modification purposes. Um, so it'll be different next month and then the next month after that. I don't sell unmodified stuff, especially if you just like comment and say, hey, sell me that AirTech 2000. I won't even bother replying. None of this stuff is for sale except if it's on my web store. If it's not on the web store, it's not available. Um, all of these guns right now are on my web store. Link to that in the description box below. That's my collection overview. Thanks for watching.